An old Haitian proverb says, Men en pile, chapalou. We would say, many hands make light work. Before I went to work for the people of Minnesota, I lived in Haiti for three and a half years. I followed events there and have maintained many good friendships with the people of Haiti over these years. Today, the American people are reaching out in friendship to help the people of Haiti. I was particularly moved to read some reports by members of the U.S. Coast Guard who were assigned to Haiti to provide humanitarian aid. I want to read an excerpt from a report by Ensign Christopher Pince of Concord, New Hampshire, serving aboard the U.S. Coast Guard cutter Tahoma off Haiti. I was cleaning a wound on a small boy, and a man with a broken leg was talking to me. He kept telling me how he loved Americans and how God will bless America forever. Everyone I saw, even if they didn't know any English, were just so thankful. Later, he writes, every day our captain will ask, who wants to go over the next day? Everyone raises their hand. That's the kind of people we are working with down here right now. This is why we signed up. Coast Guard Health Services technician Larry Berman sent back this message from a makeshift clinic crowded with the hurt and the dying. I want to pass on the story of the miracle Betadine. We started the day with two and a half gallons. We never ran out. Every patient had wounds requiring Betadine. Some need lots of it. I'm telling you that it was God that kept that soap flowing. Otherwise, the clinic would have to stop seeing patients. He continues, tomorrow we'll do it all over again. Lives are being saved by the hundreds because of us being there. Disaster relief is dirty, fast, slow, steady. We need one of those cargo drops of supplies. It has not come yet, but I'm guess getting messages that the Coast Guard has assets on its way. We will not abandon this post. The U.S. military is doing its part in Haiti, and by participating in this benefit program, you are doing yours. Before the earthquake struck, the people of Haiti were finally beginning to see a brighter future for their country. After decades of political corruption, unrest, and poverty, the administration of President Preval was beginning to restore government services. People were coming to believe in their nation, once again. This now is a critical moment for the people of Haiti. The United States, the international community together, need to step up to provide humanitarian assistance and restore the services of government to the people of Haiti. If we don't, the Haitians will see a political earthquake and collapse, and they will be plunged into the darkness of despair once again. Thank you for your help.